A poll by RBC found that a lot of us, almost 40% of Canadians, are still feeling the effects of overspending they did this past holiday season. But money expert Robin Thompson say there's a way to reverse this. She's offering advice on how to better your bank account by looking at some of the common financial errors people tend to make. Robin, good morning to you. Good morning, nice to see you. We're matching in our blue this morning. I know, I don't know what, you got black, but we're close. So great. Uh, sometimes overspending can lead to spending more than you make. That's your first common mistake. How can we prevent this from happening? Well, some of us tend to spend more money than we make, as we know. And even the wealthier, high net worth people sometimes run out of money before they run out a month. So there's a few things that you can do. The first thing is to get a great handle on where your money is actually going. So yes, you need to start with a budget. And it sounds simple because it is, but it actually works. When you sit down and you do the work, you do the honest work to see where your money is actually going, you'll get a better handle on the types of things you're spending your money on. So the first thing you want to do is understand where your income is coming in. So what are those income sources coming into your household to figure out, look at your salary, look at any income coming off of your investments, perhaps pensions. Then you want to take the next step and take a look and track your spending. So what are you spending your money on? What are your discretionary expenses? What's your mortgage? What are those, those payments that you have to make? And from there, you'll be able to identify what are the different places that I'm spending money on that I may not need to be spending money on. And then you can allocate that money towards paying down extra debt or putting money towards investments. So it's about, Kelsey, getting back into that routine of understanding what am I doing with my money because it's a real problem for Canadians. And as you know from earlier in the broadcast, we're spending a lot of time worrying about money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're like, we're going to buy sales. We're only going to do sales. And it's so easy to tap your card at every good sale you see. Tell me about why this can be problematic. Well, the first thing to understand is that not every sale is a bargain, right? There is a trade-off. And when it comes to spending and it comes to buying, we need to understand our behaviors or the psychology around why we're spending the money that we do. Because sometimes we might be buying a material object that we think is going to fill a specific need that might be deeper than actually just buying a widget or a gidget. Because after a while, that shiny new object starts to lose some of its luster. So it's fleeting. So this is where you really want to be clear on what your bigger goals are. And you want to make sure that you are spending money on the things that really provide value for you. I mean, advertising tricks our brain into feeling sometimes that these things we see online can actually fit fix perhaps deeper rooted problems that we're going through. So make sure you're buying things for the right reasons and you're reevaluating what that looks like for you. Robin, it's natural to compare where you're at with others who seem like they have it so much better than you. How does that hold you back? Sometimes it feels like we are just perpetually behind the curve. I mean, everybody's doing better than us, our neighbors and our hairdressers and our colleagues and our friends. And it's really important to look at your own behaviors and your own wants in life because other people are playing different games than you. Their game of life has nothing to do with yours. So when you figure out what's important to you and you can start to put some of those things together, you can start to understand that people only generally talk about their successes. And as people, we know that we go through a lot of failures to get to our successes. So what are the goals that you want to achieve in your life? What are the successes that you're looking for? So really defining that mm. and then putting a disciplined plan together to be able to get you closer to your goals. I mean, forget about what everybody else is doing because that's their life and their stuff. Focus on you and focus on your things that make, make you happy. Robin, thank you so much. It, you put it into such good perspective and it's always wonderful to talk to you. Oh, it's great to see you too. Have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.